Are you thinking of relocating to Ontario, California, and you wanna know what the true cost of living is? Well, I'm gonna give you that information and a little bit more here in this video. My name is Oscar Pinto. I'm a real estate agent here in the Inland Empire. And if you're thinking of relocating to our area, go ahead and give me a call. I love receiving your phone calls and I would love to help you make that move. So let's start. The biggest reason anyone focuses in Ontario, California and say they wanna move here is the cost. In our area, you're gonna see that we're surrounded by some other more expensive cities. Ontario, California happens to be the least expensive one. That's one of the reasons I bought my property here. It was because it was the most affordable. Um, why not? See, now there are some pluses and minuses with living here in Ontario. And if you check out my other video, I shared some information of comparing this city with some surrounding areas as well. Now, if you're also renting in this area, Unfortunately, rents are pretty high in the entire region and Ontario is kind of on par. You might save a few dollars only because you're living in a really small home or in a really old home as well. You might save some money there. But the averages, as you can see, are kind of the same amount when it comes to whether you live in an Upland, Rancho or Ontario with comparable properties. There are some mega homes in, let's say, San Antonio Heights, but there aren't those homes, those homes don't exist here in Ontario. So that's not a real way to compare. But if we want to compare, let's say a two bedroom, one bath to another two bedroom, one bath rental, you can see it's kind of, you know, they're almost the same. Now, the good news is that if you're in this region and you do have, uh, and you happen to live here in Ontario, you can use a lot of the resources from the other cities surrounding city cities. Next thing we want to check out is what's big, what's been big in the news is gas prices. So, Here's a map of the average gas prices in our area. If you can see, they are lower than the average cost of gas in San Bernardino County, which is lower than the gas in Los Angeles County. Now, I really don't know why that is. I don't know why gas happens to be less expensive in Upland and Ontario and Rancho versus the, the rest of the county. Um, so. That's uh, news to me, but guess what? You'll be able to benefit from that if you live in our area. Now, I've noticed that uh, along the 60 in Ontario, that's where you're gonna find the least expensive gas, and also uh, by the 10 in Upland, you'll find some really cheap gas there as well. Uh, Arco is the cheapest gas around. Now, if you're using like Mobil or Exxon or, or uh, Shell or something like that, those prices are a little bit higher. Some people like that gas because it's better quality. I couldn't see the difference. I mean, um, I, I don't see the difference in, in whatever gas it is, but I also I don't drive some super high performance car that needs some special gas either. So uh, gas prices here are less expensive, about maybe 10% less. So your gas bill on traveling is gonna be about 10% lower if you live in our area here than if you would be in LA or other parts of the county as well. Another thing that when I moved out here that we all need, you're gonna need it, is internet access. Now there's two major companies that uh, that service our area, Spectrum and Frontier. Frontier used to be Verizon. They, you know, they cut a deal or whatever, figured out, you know, whatever. Frontier is now the new new player. They had their FiO. Spectrum has cable. Uh, I personally use cable internet. Um, so here are some prices. Now you're gonna notice they're both the same, $49.99 a month. This is just internet. I don't pay for the cable TV because we all have streaming service for the most part. So uh, $49.99 each one. Now, the biggest thing I've seen is that Spectrum, after 12 months, jacks your price up. So right now, I had Spectrum for $49. It went up, it went up to $65. Um, I'm going to have to call, cancel, and you know, put it on my wife's name or someone else's name or something like that. Start that 12-month uh, timer again. Uh, Fios, similar. They last for two years, so you would probably only have to do that every two years. There was something on their website about uh, installation charge, so you just have to factor that in as well. I don't know. I haven't gotten too deep into it, but internet, pretty much about the same. We stream on multiple platform computers, so it, and it works fine. Um, so uh, that's the cost of the now, internet. Uh, car insurance. Car insurance in our area is pretty much on pace everywhere, any city you go to, whether Rancho, Upland, Ontario, Eastvale, Corona, they're all about the same amount. Uh, this chart shows you the different prices on average 
that you're going to be able to pay, whether you live in Long Beach, Los Angeles, uh, Riverside, uh, the city of San Bernardino. And, and so we're, you know, our prices are within that same, that same range. Uh, a few hundred dollars a month again on average depending on what it is if you have bad driving record then your price is going to go up but on average this is what you're looking at so again a little bit less expensive car insurance from living in la to living in here in the area one thing that costs not maybe not money well yeah money but it's time if you compare what someone costs to travel to work if you live in la work in la versus traveling from ontario or our air any of the surrounding cities to LA, you're gonna be spending one to two hours a day traveling back and forth, sometimes even up to three. Uh, and that cost is your time. And what's your time worth? Now, well, if you are fortunate enough to have a job here in the area, maybe you live in Ontario and work in Ontario, then yeah, you're gonna be saving that commute time. Um, there's not much traffic within the city, but if you're going towards LA in the morning, coming back in the afternoon, yeah, you're gonna, you sit in traffic for a while. I mean, that's just, you just can't get around that. Um, so the cost of, of your time, and of course, now, now you gotta pay gas. Even though you're paying 10% less, you're still paying that to, to travel. Uh, that is a, a big cost in that. So think, th think about that. If you say, well, why don't I just live in Ontario and then I could work in LA? Well, add on one to two, three hours of commute time. That's pretty tough. That's a steep price to pay. Now, in Ontario, there's Ontario Mills, bunch of stores there. That's one section. A lot of the stores here are kind of like mid-tier. You know, you have uh, your Marshalls, which, you know, Ross with the lower end. Uh, then you have the Ontario Mills Mall. Now, if you want to go to, let's say, a fancier store, fancier shopping, you would have to go to Rancho Cucamonga. Uh, Victoria Gardens has a bunch of fancy stores there that you know, specialty stores that you could go with. A lot of the services here are, again, like mid-tier. If you want something a little bit more uh, luxurious, fancier, e exclusive, you will have to travel north to, let's say, Upland, Laverne, Rancho, or down to Chino, Chino Hills area. That's where you're gonna find some specialty tutorings and things like that. We don't have that here in Ontario. Again, this is more more economical town, so we don't have those uh, extra, uh, extra stores and services. Um, but these stores and services are only about 10, 15 minute drive. So they're not really too far from where you need to be. Now in Ontario Ranch and the new communities, they are building uh, new shopping centers. You might find those uh, specialty tutoring and, and like um, kid, kid gymnasiums and things like that. I was looking for my kid a, a, a gymnasium for like a toddler. And the only towns I had that was like Laverne, Upland, Rancho. There was none, you couldn't find any, of that. None, I couldn't find any of that in Ontario. It just doesn't exist here. Um, again, because their market, who has the extra funds to pay for that, they live up there. They don't live down here. So that's just a reality. If you own your own home here, or if you're renting a house, you're definitely gonna have your water and trash bill. And those are also on par with the surrounding areas. So you're not gonna find a difference. You, you know, no one moves here because they got cheaper water, or cheaper trash. Okay, we have in Ontario, there are the laws are a little bit looser when it comes to drought and when to water. Like I was driving by Ontario and they can, you know, certain neighborhoods can only water on like Mondays and, and Wednesdays. Here in Ontario, I think we're allowed four days a week as, as of this recording because things change all the time with our droughts, you know, our drought scenario. So uh, the watering laws are a little bit looser here as opposed to, you know, closer to the foothills. If you are, let's say you own a townhouse or, or home inside a community, um, you're going to find the HOA costs are, are pretty similar to everywhere else. And HOA with the homeowner association, you know, they cover your, um, they cover some big amenities in the area, like the pool and clubhouse and stuff like that. There are older condo communities that don't have so many amenities. So those HOA costs are lower. And now you have these new communities that have big pools, big um, community centers, basketball courts, right? There, someone has to pay for that. The homeowners pay for that. And if you're renting there, the homeowners transfer that uh, cost to the tenant. So whoever lives there pays for that, uh, whether you use it or not. I've lived in communities and I've been really the only person that used the pool. Uh, I grew up in the Bronx where I didn't have a pool. So coming down to Southern California where there's pools almost like everywhere, I was definitely enjoying the pools, especially since I was paying for it. Uh, I was renting in uh, Grand Terrace at a time and I would use the pool. So um, 
if you're living in those communities, definitely use it. If you have your own private pool, well then that's nothing you have to be concerned about. Now I've seen some communities that homeowners have their own private pool and they pay for the community pool. So they have two pools. Now we all know they're only going to one, but they're paying that extra. So if you're thinking of moving and you say, I want a pool home, the community has a pool, we'll just know you're paying for both. Okay, you're paying to maintain both. That's just the reality of it. There's no, no way around it. So those are the costs of living here in Ontario, California. We covered housing, insurance, gas. Uh, healthcare is um, pretty much the same throughout the whole region. Daycare costs, childcare costs, they are less expensive here in Ontario. Uh, now, I got to share with you, there are some resources. If you say, well, uh, you know, I want to live in Upland, I live in Upland or Rancho, how can I get it? There are some resources that may help you with childcare costs. Uh, now, if you make a lot of money, it's not really for you. But if you're maybe in that borderline area, you just need a little help. There are, uh, there are organizations that can help you with that. So something to look into. I'm going to put some links to some organizations in the description below. You may be able to give you some, uh, uh, a little help out. It might be able to help you or someone you know. Might be able to help someone you know with that information. Let's talk about the stores and food costs. So, uh, Food, generally around the same price, maybe a little bit less in Ontario, but the, only because the type of supermarkets that are here in Ontario versus the type of supermarkets that are in the surrounding cities are different. I'll give an example, Vons. Vons tends to be a little bit pricier and they have the prettier fruit, whereas in Ontario, you may go to, uh, let's say, Superior or uh, Cardenas and see maybe their, you know, their fruit and vegetable costs are a little bit less. You might save with that. One supermarket I really like is Grocery Outlet. It's like the Marshalls of uh, supermarkets. Um, they just opened up, I think they just started business about five years ago or something. There's one on Euclid in the 60. There's another one in Upland off of Mountain and 8th. And they always have good deals. You never know what you're gonna find there. You know, um, they are opening more stores and in those newer communities uh, down by Ontario Ranch. And then of course you can, there's Albertsons in those, in those shopping centers. Uh, so the cost of food, you're going to find similar. It all depends on which supermarket you go to. That supermarket I found would, was to be Super King. You man, you get more for your buck back there. Uh, you get some good deals with uh, produce and fruits and meats and, and things like that. And they have international food there as well. A lot of big international food section from, you know, um, Asia and the Middle East, South America as well. So those are some of the biggest costs that you're going to incur living here in Ontario, California. Uh, for some people, about 40% of their income goes to housing. So that's the, that was number one. And that's something that maybe you should, uh, that, that might help you decide where you're going to live. Uh, Health care is about the same with everyone. Uh, food, again, would, depending on which stores you go to, that's a your choice type of thing. Um, when it comes to child care, you're, you're going to find it to be a little bit more affordable in Ontario. So if you're thinking of relocating to our area, you want more information, again, give me a call. I'll be able to help you make that move a lot easier. Uh, if you want, you can check out my pros and cons video. What the pros and cons are living here in Ontario. I give, some, give you some more information on what it is. Um, and I hope to see you guys soon.